I wanted to get even more romantic with Nick and explore each other sexually. This season's Bachelor villain, Corinne, is on Wednesday's episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show. And she has this to say about her mischievous behavior on the ABC show. Would you say that's a great representation of yourself? Um, that is the real me. It is definitely a real side of me. Mm -hmm. um, but there are many other sides mm -hmm. to me. I think that you'll see a lot more of Corinne mm -hmm. as the season In goes what on. way do you mean that? <laughs> Clothed. Okay, all right. Clothed. Well, I have to say that this past Monday, both Portia and I said, Corinne is, is acting more normal. Like, we, we thought you were actually, <laughs> we were like, oh, I see a different side of Corinne. And, because in the beginning, come on, you're watching it now back. Don't you think you were crazy? <laughs> I mean, the, the other girls in the house, I mean, don't you see the side where they could maybe think that? You must see that. <clears throat> well, I definitely was um, watching it back. I'm funny, like I think you I'm are. Funny. You're very entertaining. <laughs> and why did you do the Bachelor? Because you seem like, you know, I mean, it, it, were you having a hard time meeting guys? Um, well, I was in a long relationship. It was very stressful, and um, I kind of just got out of that. And then, you know, things just fell into place with the show, and I just thought it was a really great opportunity to just, you know, put myself out there and, you know, kind of like have fun with it and. Mm -hmm. And the, the final question I have for you, maybe not the final, um, but uh, why do you have a nanny? <laughs> Raquel is actually, she works with my family. She's been with us for 18 years. Mm -hmm. um, she moved with us to Florida from New Jersey. She's kind of like my everything. She, you know, raised my sister. She helped my mom through cancer. She's just, she's great. She's part of our family. She's not like my nanny, like my babysitter. Yeah, but didn't you say she was your nanny? Yeah, I mean, nanny is kind of like a word that I use for her because I don't, I, I have a lot of respect for her and you know, mm -hmm. she's kind of like a mother figure to me. So I don't really like to say like cleaning lady or housekeeper. Mm -hmm. I, so, you know, nanny to me is kind of a more respectful word mm -hmm. for her because right. I really do love her and right. she is a very big part of my life. Yeah, but didn't you see when you're saying nanny that people would look at you as a 24 year old mm. and say, because, you know, I understand now when you explain it that way, but you didn't explain it that way before, so people are thinking, at 24, you have a nanny. Yes. Now, looking I, back, right? Yes, I definitely could have explained it better, yes. Right. But now you have, and now we know that. Uh, so now, if you do not get picked, if he, if you, uh, do you, would you be interested in being the bachelorette next time around? Of course. I mean, you know, being the bachelorette would be an amazing experience for any one of us mm -hmm. that would get asked to mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. So you would do that for sure? Yeah. Good. All right. <laughs> Trying to figure out if he ends up with you or not. There's a couple of girls, though, that... Who, who do you like? Who, who are the girls that you like in the house? I am actually good friends with everybody in the house, mm -hmm. except for Taylor. Mm -hmm. Taylor... Well, because you don't have yeah. the emotional intelligence for her. Exactly. She, she has a problem with your emotional intelligence. Yeah, I, I she did. personally don't know what emotional intelligence does. It means so. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, Corinne also played a little game of Who'd You Rather. Her final choice just might surprise you. Who'd you rather, Chris Harrison or Zac Efron? I'll have to go with um, Zac Efron. Really? What's the politically correct answer here? <laughs> Nick. Those glasses are super cute. Yeah. Nick. Nick or Drake? Nick. You were forming a D in your mouth. You had a D in your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. Drake. You people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Is there anybody else? Are we done with the game? <laughs> All right, we're done with the game. Uh, so you can watch The Bachelor on Mondays at 8 on ABC. I wanted to get even more romantic with Nick and explore each other sexually. This season's Bachelor villain, Corinne, is on Wednesday's episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show. And she has this to say about her mischievous behavior on the ABC show. Would you say that's a great representation of yourself? Um... 
That is the real me. It is definitely a real side of me. Mm -hmm. um, but there are many other sides mm -hmm. to me. I think that you'll see a lot more of Corinne mm -hmm. as the season In goes In what on. way do you mean that? <laughs> Clothed. Okay, all right. Clothed. Well, I have to say that this past Monday, both Portia and I said, Corinne is, is acting more normal. Like, we, we thought you were actually, we were like, oh, I see a different side of Corinne. And, because in the beginning, come on, you're watching it now back. Don't you think you were crazy? <laughs> I mean, the, the other girls in the house, I mean, don't you see the side where they could maybe think that? You must see that. <clears throat> well, I definitely was um, watching it back. I'm funny. Like, I think you I'm are. Funny. You're very entertaining. <laughs> and why did you do The Bachelor? Because you seem like, you know, I mean, it, it, were you having a hard time meeting guys? Um, well, I was in a long relationship. It was very stressful and... 